Okay, guys, so I'm going to... I've just thought of, like, a method, maybe, that could help you with your bad thoughts. So it could be the most ridiculous thought. It could be a realistic thought. It could be, you know, you might be dreading something and you think the worst is going to happen. So what, what I'd like you to do, you know, I've had the expression it, um, expect the worst, but hope for the best, or prepare for the worst and hope for the best. And I'm like, okay, maybe... I shouldn't, I think that makes it worse, if I'm honest, I mean, you know, I'm like, for every bad moment, you know, I used to, I used to try and prepare myself for, for parenting, if I became a parent when I'm older, and, you know, I know I'm not going to be a perfect dad, I know that already, you know, nobody's going to be a perfect parent, you know, you're going to make mistakes along the way, um, but I, I used to, I, I feel like I have to prepare myself for every situation. I'm like, all right, what if this person tries to kick off with me? How do I, how, how do I you know, defend myself? What if some person comes to try and stab me with a knife and try to kill me? Right, I need to prepare myself. I need to get, you know, I need to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm instantly like panicking. Even though all these things are not likely to happen, but it could happen. So, all right, so let's pretend your so let's pretend your finger is your bad thought so don't look at your finger don't look at your finger at all okay it could be your right hand it could be your left hand it's up to you so let's just say right let's so don't look at the finger look at the screen right so and then just go it's dropping it's dropping it's dropping it's dropping it's dropping right to the ground if it's more than one bad thought, use two or three or four or five. And if it's twenty bad thoughts, just 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 use your hands and keep doing this and that. Just don't do it in front of people because you look a bit daft. You know, well you, you're not looking daft if people know what you're doing, but people be like, eh. you know, I certainly wouldn't want to do it in front of people. But, you know, that's just a method I just came up with. Don't know if it'll help, because I'm not a doctor. I'm just some guy that has anxiety, and that's it. That's all I am. So, if it helps, then great. But if it doesn't, then, you know, just just try and look for other ways to, to deal with things. I mean, you know, you know, I'm, I'm just, you know, trying, I just found use that as my own way. I never tried that before, I just thought, hmm, maybe I could do that now. Because I watched Russell Brand's video once, and it's how to meditate for beginners. I think I don't think I quite did it right, but I'm like, so like, you know, you see the thought, let it go, you know, don't follow it, just just let it go. So that's that's what I'm trying to do. So say I'm just trying to pretend my finger is a bad thought, or you know, a horrible thought about somebody else or something you worried about just say right that thoughts there or if you have a little journal put it in your book and still do the finger thing that that that's what i do you know i just thought right now oh i could do that 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 you know I'd... it's amazing what ideas you can get um whether it's a ridiculous idea i'm not too sure but yeah try that you know, I'm going to try that now as well. So, in, I did another drawing on Boxing Day. And I think Christmas Day was um, was a saviour for me. Because I wasn't allowed to talk about anxiety. And I'm like, right, what if I have a bad day? What if I have terrible thoughts? What if this happens? What if... I had that. Don't want to say what it is. Um, so, you know, it was something about somebody else. And I wrote it down in the book. I scribbled all over it. Because I don't want to read it again. I don't want to see it again. And, it, you know, it's not a problem anymore. Um, so, you know, and I don't, you know, and it made me feel a lot better. The fact that I crossed it out. That, the fact that I scribbled it out. Because I didn't want anybody reading it. Because I like to show people. But I don't, there's some things I don't want people to see. And they might see it. And they're like, oh, let me have a look, let me have a look. So, yeah. Um, that, that, that's what I would do. 
So, talking about um, my drawing, so it felt like there was a lot of problems. I can actually feel something here, like proper, you know, when I'm feeling tense, here. So, it felt like a big block, it felt like a house in a way, and I had bad neighbours, Gary and Dave. Gary and Dave are now all dead, they're all in the shredder, right? They're not there anymore, which is good. And it just felt like an empty house, a big block, right? And, you know, that that's all it felt like. And I think when I had the Christmas day, I think when the fact was drawing, you know, and it, it feels like now that they're like little snowflakes um, going on, onto the ground. That's what it feels like. I know there's still that there's still the little you know they've got rid of the big bits but we just you know there's just a the little bits that need sweeping away and I feel that's gonna help. And um you know it, it's a good thing. You know that uh it's a good thing that um you know that that is it's like progress in a way you're making progress you're getting somewhere and you know being able to talk to somebody is progress you know there might be people like oh i don't want to put you know my issues on other people there might be people who'll be like oh no um, i best keep it to myself because i think they'll judge me honestly i th i still think that i've had it before and i've been told no no brad i won't judge you you know and but I still get that feeling um, because I'm like, because some of it's so terrible. But you know, yeah, you gotta feel comfortable. You gotta feel like you can trust them. Honestly, it, it's not, you know, it's nothing to be. You know, if you've got anxiety, if you've got depression, it's not to be ashamed of. I mean, you know, it's 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 not gonna be there forever. You're not gonna have it forever, you know. It might feel like you. Oh, I've got no hope in life. Oh, you might. You know, you might feel like you hit rock bottom, or you know, and you feel like you're terrible. You're not worth anything. You're not good anything. You know, you've got nothing left. You know, trust me. I've had that feeling a lot before. Honestly, like I might have had a bad day at college, and I'm like, oh, no, you know. I'm gonna have an awful time. I'm not good at the. I'm not good enough at this. I'm not good enough at that. I'm not good enough for life. Life's too good for me. I'm too weak. I can't handle anything. You know, that's what I feel like. All, I, I get like that all the time. Honestly, recently I've been much better. But yeah, you know, you just, you know, you just need somebody to pick you up again. You know. If you can't pick yourself up, let someone pick yourself up when you need it. That is what, you know, you know, inside sometimes you're like a, you're like an infant who needs its parent. You know, it's normal. I, I'm like that a lot. Honestly, I am. So, look, don't, don't be scared. You know, if you've got a problem... It could be the most bizarre thing ever. Okay? It could be the most bizarre thing going in your head. Just talk to somebody, please. You know? Yeah, don't let it affect you. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back soon.